Hello everyone, this is Kimmy Wyatt and I am doing this TBCITA, which is the Blue Cup in the Attic video on two things that pisses electronic stalkers off the most. And electronic stalkers, as I mentioned in another video, can include uh, group stalkers and gang stalking, okay, or gang stalkers. Um, first thing I want to say, I am accepting donations for this project and for everything excuse me moving my rings around <laughs> for everything that i do you can send those donations via paypal.com to kimmy wyatt you guys know how to spell my name um two number two at outlook.com you can send those funds via paypal.com once again to kimmy wyatt number two not number two but kimmy wyatt two at outlook.com okay um, and I don't know any other pre-announcements that I want to make, but, uh, oh, I do know one. I understand that this is a beguiling situation that I'm going through the blue cup in the attic. Please do not use my footage or my life, the things that are going on in my life to make a movie, to do a sitcom or, or anything like that. Okay. I am very familiar with the Actors Guild, uh, SAG. Um, I, I'm familiar with all that. I took drama classes, okay? And that has nothing to do with it. But I know that this is really something amazing because a lot of people do not know about the spying, the new technology, um, the new cameras, basically, and the new technology. The technology was there like microwaves, stoves, ovens. We've all always had them, basically, especially stoves and, and refrigerators, rather, Um um, stoves, refrigerators, and microwaves, microwaves being later, but now they can be manipulated to put cameras in there to watch you while you're in your kitchen, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, okay, so I wanted to say that, um, uh, coupled along with uh, the two things that really pisses electronic stalkers off, um, I am I sleep in different places. I should have taken a picture of how I had to sleep in my hallway. Um, not, not necessarily last night, but the night before last or morning, I don't go to sleep usually until the, until the mornings. Um, but I, I, that's, that's when I should have taken a picture, but this is a part of my life. I've had to do this going on two years because of my stalkers. And, um, one of the amazing things about, um, these stalkers, some of them are, especially the gang stalking and the group stalking, uh, they will, Get in your face. The ones, especially if you live in an apartment like I do. This is my last time doing that. Um, they will get in your face, some of them, and have the nerve to speak to you every day. Hey, what's going on? And you know, and you knowing <laughs> that they're spying on you. As a matter of fact, I'm going to reveal something. I hope they see this video. I hope they're watching me right now. There is a couple over here. Uh, one Sunday I got up, something had happened. I could hear them in the walls doing something. Not this one, but, you know, dropping the cameras down. Uh, keep up with me, you guys. And um, this little ring right here is just like, keep on turning. Um, so I got up and uh, coupled along with the fact that one of the idiots on another floor, as well as on the first floor, will come out if I'm in the living room um, to do footage for these people, you know. And so his wife says, you know, the door's open. He's opening the door. The door's opening. And he's, he's, he said, she says, she's not crazy. And he said, well, she's crazy now. Um, and he went to his vehicle and he just sat in his vehicle. He didn't go anywhere. He just sat in it with the door open. I know you're spying on me, dear. Okay. Cut it out. I know you're embarrassed right now if you're watching this video or watching me doing it because you didn't know. You thought I didn't know you were spying on me. I know you're spying on me. I know a whole bunch of stuff that you do. Um, I'm going to keep to myself. Moving right along. So the two things that uh, electronic stalkers, gang stalkers, I'm going to add them in. You know, they, they do the electronic stalking um, as well. That that pisses them off are two materials that are easily accessible accessible to you. You can go to your hardware store if you want to get thicker of one of these, um, or you can um, you can go to your dollar store for the other one. Okay, those two things are drum roll. I wish I could do my drum roll. Those two things are 
foil or aluminum rather in the form of foil if you want to do that or go buy some aluminum and mylar which is another form of aluminum okay a thinner form as you guys probably know if you don't aluminum comes in different milli milliliters or different thicknesses you know and um lots of them literally from the thinnest uh as a matter of fact let me show this to you okay you're probably wondering what this is. Some of you have already figured it out. Some of you have been keeping up with me. And so you already know what these are, rather. These are a bundle, if you can look and see, of uh, windshield, sun, sun shields. These are the sun shields that you put in your window when it's really hot or whatever. You don't want the sun coming in your window your ve of your vehicle, okay? I'm going to go ahead and, well, I've tied them together at the end, and, and I, I just did that the other morning or whatever. But let me go ahead. Okay, pretty wide, as you can see. Okay, these are the same ones. You can see the little dip down here um, to go under your um, rear view mirror. But this is Mylar. Mylar is also the balloons, you know, the balloons you can go into like the dollar store especially and um, in some stores with the bakery, they may blow up balloons or something, but um, normally you can go to, hold on, ah, turn around, <laughs> normally you can go to a dollar store, your local dollar store and get those Mylar balloons that have like happy birthday on the front, but the back may be solid, solid silver or it may be a two-sided one. You know, they make the two. So if it blows, you can see the de decorations on both side sides. That's Mylar, okay? Mylar is thin, but on these, it's dual-sided. So it's double-sided, okay? I'm going to tell you from my experience, you may start out with one, but if they really want to see you, okay, you're a target, hint, hint. They're going to do whatever they have to do to see you. So they're going to go get better equipment or some, some more high-tech equipment. And so one of these is not going to do it. Two is not going to do it. Five was doing it for me, especially in my vehicle. I, I, I had three. You can, you can tell, use your ears. I have a um, TBCITA about uh, electronic stalkers or something and your senses or your spies versus your, the spies versus your senses. It may have been a soup for the soul, but, I, but I'm, I'm not for sure. Um, but it talks about the spies versus your senses. You know, eyes, you know, mouth, you know, um, which which that which is very beguiling in that soup for the soul or TBCITA because I mentioned um, sense of taste. OK, for which it's not my taste is someone else's taste. I'm cooking. Uh, curiosity kills the cat. I love to cook. Ooh, what is that? She's cooking it. I, I can tell that tastes pretty good. So you leave and you come back and you can tell someone's been in your refrigerator chopping down on your food. You know, I live by myself. Okay. So that's Mylar. Aluminum. Another form of aluminum. But your best friend is this buddy right here. This is aluminum and it's Let's see, how can I put this home form? <laughs> Foil. Foil. Look this stuff up on YouTube, you guys. Look it up on the internet, period. Do a search, okay? No matter what type of camera they have, it cannot see through this. You're a buddy, okay? Get you some foil. I now laugh at my um, idiots because if I go to sleep, they're like, oh, let's go over here. She's going to sleep over there. They've been doing it since, since over there. Stupid, stupid. I'm like, I can move from one spot to another one. You should know that. So why are you letting me hear you doing shiggity in my bathroom? Knowing that all I got to do is bing, roll out the foil. Why are you doing all that stupid stuff? Stupid. These are the world's dumbest criminals. I'm telling you, they're dumb. 
I sleep so good in, in most cases. If I don't sleep good now, it's just because I'm not getting good sleep. It has nothing to do with them. I sleep good because I know that my friend down here that just fainted, <laughs> just fainted, is going to protect me. Um, and so in the hallway where I know there's some cameras, bam, no, not, not this wall because this wall goes into my kitchen, but who knows? Not the door, but there's a wall right here, just like this, but longer. And that's where my head was while I was sitting in a chair going to sleep. And I'm like, if you think, and it's a closet door on the other side where I keep things. And I'm like, if you think that I don't know that you are watching me right now as I sleep, not speak, but as I sleep, woo woo, you are. So what you do is get your foil, your aluminum, and I'm going to make a suggestion to you guys. If you really feel like I'm making light of this, you know, being funny because it is, it's, it's ridiculous. But if you feel like you're being spied on and you know in your heart you're hearing stuff that is abnormal in your walls, okay, you may just moved into your apartment. You're a female. They saw you moving into that apartment. As a matter of fact, you probably moved in two scenarios, two, three days ago, you're getting stuff out of your storage. So they know you're leaving. You have absolutely no clue any of this is going on. None, none. Okay. So they know you're leaving. Maintenance is usually involved in these situations. They go into your apartment with the key and they do some things. You are back. You still don't know that you're being watched. Okay. Or this equipment was already there before you moved in. They don't care who moves in those apartments. They know someone's going to have a female. Someone's going to have a child. Someone's going to have sex probably in that apartment. They don't care. Bonafide certified perverts. Okay. Or for you guys, I don't know. I'm going to do it both ways. P. So, so. You guys invest in some foil. It's going to be the quickest thing that you're going to be able to get if you can afford, if you can't afford the big sheets of aluminum. Um, I'm telling you, if you the sheets of aluminum, not going to happen <laughs> because they're thicker. They do have them at your local. If you if you have a, um, a let's see, a um, very popular. Uh, there's two of them. I'm in, in the Dallas Fort Worth area, so of Texas. So there's they're all over all over so you can go and buy sheets of aluminum and put them in places like like some of them go up to here and and you know they're they're going to be more expensive than foil i'm going to tell you something so if you use foil by the way make sure you get the heavy duty version of foil and you do not have to buy the name brands there is uh walmart for instance i mean who doesn't know about walmart they have wonderful foil that is just as thick as um the the, the name brands okay uh, I'm not putting the name brands down. That's up to you. But it's but for something this big, whatever your project is, you're going to probably want to go a couple of cents cheaper. You don't have to do that. But if you buy the cheaper foil from the dollar stores or the 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 the, the thinner foils, be sure to double it. But you're wasting money. Just go ahead and get a heavy duty foil. Um, look at your project and look how much square footage you're going to need. I went to the store. Um, I need to invest in the foil industry, uh, aluminum. I really do. I went to the store and I've wasted so much money. And I say wasted because I've never bought that much foil in my life or this much foil in my life. But I do know this, which pisses them off, is that you are going to have to have this to repel the cameras. There's nothing that's going to repel them. No clothing, basically, no no sheets, no nothing. Now, now, they may not be able to see completely through them, but they can still see through. Fabrics, you know, most of them, um, cabinetry, everything. This is the only thing that does it. So budget-wise, if you're a female, I'm going to give you some tips. And you're planning on moving into an apartment or you've been in apartments or whatever. You, you're in an apartment now. And if you're in a home, you're pretty safe, but not necessarily. Here's the reason. You probably don't know who was living in that home before you. You don't know who's coming in that home when you're gone. And I, and, and it really happens. Some of these electronic stalkers or uh, their methods of coming in is to manipulate your security system. To where when you come back, 
I had an, 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 this happened twice in both places here and there. You come back, your stuff is done, but your alarm is still engaged. You're like, hold on, hold on, hold on. They must have forgot they did that to me over there. I had to get rid of that one. Um, and these were not security systems that are monitored. So please, if you're going to get an, uh, an alarm, get one that's monitored. Please spend the extra five, ten dollars to get a mon monitor security system so that you know when someone's coming in your place, so that you will get a notification. I'm sure. I'm sure this has changed with the security, the monitor security people, so that you will know when someone is coming into your home. Okay. You will get a telephone call. You'll get a text that your doors have opened. You'll get something. I know this is going on now. I don't even have to question it because unmonitored systems can do it. Okay. And be careful with, with security systems because once again, if you have even one that's not it, that's more expensive than the one I had, this was not a system. This was just a chime thing that was an alarm and a chime. Uh, I could put it on chime if I just wanted to go outside or, or you know, ding, ding or whatever, you know, or I could put it on alarm when I was away. Not the most expensive thing, but it helped while it could. Um, they found out what type it was because I made sure I kept the, the package through that in the trash, but the information, the, the information booklet, they, they obviously saw that because they didn't know what brand it was. Um, once they find out what brand it is, it's on and popping, honey. It's all in popping in their world. They're going to manipulate it. Okay. Came home one time, it's on the floor turned upside down, you know, so, um, and that's here. Um, so yeah, you guys be very careful of that. So, so invest some money in aluminum and also invest some money in your security system. Make sure that you get one. If you don't want to do just the monitor kind where you can't see the person, but you know, someone's in your place, you're going to get a call if, because they don't know the, the code. Speaking of the code, if you have cameras in your place, they are you. They can see everything that you do. So when you're engaging your alarm, I'm going to let you guys figure that out. Please cover up the, the, the keypad when you're engaging your alarm, people. I mean, come on. You're beep, 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 beep. No. And then they're like, beep, 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 beep. Cover the keypad up with one of your hands. If you're left-handed, cover it up with the right hand. If you're right-handed, cover it up with the left hand. And make sure that your fingers are very close together. I can't do my... You know what? This little ring right here, we're going to fight. Okay, so cover your... um, You know, cover your pad up with some, a towel or whatever and cover it up. And and trust me, if it's, if, they're, if they have cameras above your head, they can look down and see what you're pressing. So cover the thing up, you know. Um, just put it up there, beep, beep, beep. And this is not just to engage or disengage your alarm. This is also to set your alarm, okay? Another tip is, even though this has nothing to do with aluminum, the two things, change the passcode when the person that put your alarm in leaves. This is organized crime, you guys. This is not just one entity that works for one company that is spying on you, okay? This is organized crime. I'm not gonna name companies because, you know, I'm just not. But there is a cable company in the area. The employees are involved in this, okay? Um, please, please. The employees, not the company. I can name others where the employees are involved in this, okay? You know this person. This Oh, you come in and put the cable in and blah, 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 blah. Okay. I could easily call the company and get them fired. I could easily call the company, period, and say, hey, let me tell you what some of your workers are doing. Wink, wink. I could do that. So cover your alarm up. Let's start at the beginning. Aluminum. If you can afford the, these sheets, go to your local hard store and buy these sheets of aluminum. This industry, I suggest you even buy stock in these industry these industries because this is not a joke. And buy some stock in the aluminum industry because this is going to escalate. It's not going to get any better. Um, um, and, um, and, I, and another thing that the, ironically, this is weird. The cameras cannot see through glass. <laughs> Believe it or not, you can look through glass, but these cameras cannot look through glass. And most of them, okay, they can't. The, the, the camera lens cannot see through glass. So if you're going to use glass, make sure I would just as a backup, 
have some aluminum or something behind it. I, I, not ashamed, has slept under my table, my kitchen table, my, my dining table rather, um, which is really not a table. It's actually, um, it's a table, but it's a, a center table that you would probably put, but, but it's so beautiful. Um, that you would probably put in the in the center of a big building or something on the first floor with the big flowers, but but I use it as a dining table. Over there, <laughs> I use it as a dining table, and I've slept under this table, you guys, because there's glass on the top and resin under. The, you can slide stuff up under it. As a matter of fact, if you look at some of my pictures on my sexy resell G Plus page, you will see that table. Ah! Absolutely gorgeous, and I redid the table and repainted it every, and everything. Um, but that table has thick, thick glass like this on the top. They can't see through the glass, okay? Okay, look this stuff up. Look it up. Um, so, Mylar. If you're going to use Mylar, even though it's double-sided, in most cases, it really is. I mean, I mean, you can, really can't do nothing with a little sheet of Mylar. But it's double-sided, meaning that your um, um, windshield, sun shields, the balloons, don't use the balloons. I mean, they're just right, unless you're just trying to cover up just a little area, okay? But, I mean, don't have a whole bunch of balloons just on your wall. I mean, you might want to. I mean, hey, I just thought about that. You might want to. But please keep in mind, the Mylar is thinner than regular foil, okay? So keep that in mind. So you're going to have to double. Now, these were very nominal um, at a dollar store. You know, I got a lot of them. When the truck came in, I knew the truck was coming in. I was like... I need those and I need you to save them for me. I'll be back tomorrow. You know, so this lady did that for me. Um, foil, try to get the heavy duty foil. If you're going to use glass, once again, I would make sure that it's something in front of or behind it. But really, you don't have to because it's in the glass. It can't see through glass for some reason. I don't know if it's a reflective thing going on. And also your smoke alarm, your, your smoke alarms, your alarms. If you're going to get a cheap one, make sure you're at home 80% of the time, I guess, because the cheaper ones that you can buy in the store, they're going to manipulate them and they're going to still come in and make you think that they're not, they haven't been in and they have. Okay. If you're going to get the kind that will call you unmonitored, but it can call you it can let you know that someone is in, those are great. But keep in mind, um, if they go by Wi-Fi, that's another whole another issue. Keep in mind, they can be manipulated as well. Okay. They're great. They're better than the cheaper ones. Um, but they're going to see you putting them up if you if you're already a victim. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind, unless you just quickly hide it somewhere. Once you set it somewhere else and just bring it in and hide it. Um, and you can do that. Now, if you go up a higher level, you can go to a monitored alarm system, which is what I highly suggest. It's monitored. Somebody opens, someone's op someone opens your door. They don't have the code because you hit the code. You change the code when, when the guy left. Um, that's the first thing you need to ask them. One of the most important things when someone's putting your alarm in is how do I change my code? Okay. That is the most important thing you can ask. Okay. How do I change my code? When they come in, they don't know that code. Beep, beep. But here's the deal. You got to give this code to the apartment personnel. Or do you? Okay, so, <laughs> I mean, that's up to you. But, um, yeah, so when you, if you don't want to give the code to the apartment personnel, which you're supposed to do, make sure they have your phone number so they, oh, yeah, I changed it. I'm, I'm sorry. You know, make sure they have your phone number. You have the right to change your code, and you have the right to forget to give it to them. Oops, I'm just joking. Okay, so um, with that being said, you guys, um, where I used to live, Turn around. Ugh. <laughs> this is a funny thing. I'm going to tell you why this ring keeps turning around. It really should go on this finger, but this finger is just a little too big. And this one's just a little too small. So I need six fingers. I need that one finger right here. This just this going to be that in-between finger where this ring will fit. Go to keep turning around. Okay. <laughs> and it might fit on this one, but I, I, I really haven't tried it on that one. Yeah. But I, but I, I, um. Turn around again. Okay, so forget it. Bingo! Okay, there we go. So, you guys do that. And uh, if you have any questions, please post them wherever this is posted. Once again, I am accepting donations for everything I do. You guys, it, 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 it takes a lot to be me.
Let me get focused because for some reason it's not focusing. There we go. <laughs> you guys, it takes a lot to be me. It really does. So, I need donations. I have things I need to buy. I'm tired of holding this right here. I had a camera. Can, as a matter of fact, I have a camera I need to put in the shop. You know, I got stuff I need to do. So, you guys, um, I need the donations. I really do for, for, for everything that I do in my life. I really, really do. And, and I'm not begging. I really do need the donations. Um, and I know some of you know that. You, you do. And I really appreciate, I would appreciate it. But those donations, once again, can be sent to Kimmy Wyatt 2 at Outlook.com. Just go to PayPal. You guys know how PayPal works. PayPal has billions of, of over, probably a billion right now. We started using them with my company back in 2003, four, four, I think. And um, yeah, they have accounts. It's private. It's secure. You can send the money. Very quickly. I mean, you can literally send money. Um, you need an email address. Okay. If you're going to be sending money, a valid email address, because they're going to let you know what you sent, or you can log into your PayPal account, but a valid email address is required to send money, not necessarily to make purchases. It used to be, but not anymore. They changed that years ago. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah. So just a valid e email address, sign up with the account, send the money. Um, and I'm going to be Honest with you, I you may not even have to have an email address these days to send money. I'm not for sure. Because if you're using your credit card, you can probably just send money. But anyway, Kimmy Wyatt too. Go to paypal.paypal.com and click the send money link and send that to Kimmy Wyatt 2 at Outlook.com. Okay, I'm going to shut this down. Um, just know that, you know, you can get some foil. And this is your friend, you guys. You see that? Can't see through that. busy y'all oh my god that was the Pee Wee Herman I'm showing my age <laughs> that was the beat to the Pee Wee Herman I'm gonna go hasta la vista buenas aires buenas noches arriba dolce au revoir salida don't let the door knob hit you where the good lord split you chow bela chow belo some you know it's sad because if I cook something if I cook something some roast beef or something for which I cook in a roasting pan and I do cover it up with foil. But I have one that it has a, never mind. I have, I got some stuff. I have one that has, that has the lid on it. So I'm not going to worry about that. <sighs> Bye. Bye. I like that. That's going to be my new. Bye. Bye y'all. Protect yourself. I'm making light in this video, but please protect yourself. It, it, it has become a part of me, and that's where they messed up. I'm like, why would y'all be messing with this one right here? I mean, really? I'm going to laugh at you like they did in the Carrie movie. You remember the movie Carrie, 1978 or 76, whenever? Uh, I wasn't 76, like 78. Carrie, the chick that... With the the movie had John Travolta in it, and 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 they tried to they tried to run over Carrie, Sissy Spacek in the video, and then she the prom thing... Yeah, they're all going to laugh at you. They're all going to laugh at you. They're all going to laugh at you. Y'all start laughing at these idiots. I mean, really, you spying on people in their apartment. Get a life. Get a life.